Hello, my name is Julia Love. I'm an independent moving and handling practitioner. And today I'm going to demonstrate a simple assist a patient to stand. We've already assessed Colin and I know that he has some ability to stand, just needs a little bit of help. So the first thing I'm going to do is to ask him to get into a ready to stand position. So I'm going to ask him to just shuffle forward a little bit in the chair for me. Make sure his feet are firmly planted on the ground. Some patients find it easier to have one foot forward, one back. That depends on the individual patient. I'm also going to ask Colin to pop his hands on the arms of the chair so he can push himself up. It's important that you encourage the patient to do as much as possible for themselves. For some patients, they may only need a very small amount of assistance, reassurance and, and facilitation. So for that, I'm going to stand in my step stance with my soft knees and nose and toes pointing forward and just offer a little bit of assistance by placing a hand behind his shoulders, slightly lower if that works for him. I like to place the second hand just on the front of the shoulder. That's not absolutely necessary, but just to add a little bit of reassurance. And I'm going to say, ready, steady, stand. And I'd like you to push yourself up into standing. So ready, steady, stand. And then he's up into standing. If you'd like to sit yourself down. For some, some people might need a little bit more assistance. So for this, I'm going to again ask Colin to come forward a little bit to the front edge of the chair still with his feet planted on the floor, still going to ask him to push up. I'm going to stand in my step stance, making sure that my front foot is level with the front of Colin's feet. And instead of just placing my hand behind him, I'm going to use my whole arm. So my arm is diagonally behind his back. My hand is just flat. I'm not holding or gripping. Um, and I aim for my shoulder more or less behind Colin's shoulders. Again, I could use a hand on the front of the shoulder if you find that useful. And we're going to do a ready, steady stand. Ready, steady stand. And I come forward and up. Some people, we'll do it one more time, just sit yourself down. Some people find rocking helps a little bit as well. So again, from that ready to stand position, some patients might appreciate the momentum that a rock can, um, can create. So we'll go... Ready, steady, stand. And at this point, it's important that I maintain my step stance so I'm nice and steady. Whether I support you, can I have a hand to take you for a walk or give you a walking aid? Mm -hmm. 